Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. It's me, Kay. I'm joined with Nori. Yeah, yeah, it's me, Nori. And we're back down here. We, uh... I equipped a better shield. It's a little beefier, but I had to equip lighter armor to work with it. Also, did I become a jerky man? I don't... No, your face is just real dirty. Oh. I'm the dirty man. Okay. <laughs> You've always been the dirty man, if we're asking me. All right. This goddamn thing is in here. I know it. How about some tips? Not bonfire ahead, but try door. Try, yeah. Try slamming your head in a car door. Try fleeing. Try. Maybe they mean try to run through the door. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think it's shut. It is, but I'd probably open it. Hmm... Try to lure him to the other side and then yeah. run for the door. There we go. Here we go. Yes, it opens. I don't think he's after me. Oh yeah, he's after me. Okay. Yeah, he's he's after you. Hey, I made it. Can he come out here? No, no he he quit. No, it's too warm. <laughs> oh, he didn't quit. Oh, oh, okay. He wants to play. I don't want to play. Nah, screw oh, that shit. guy. Who are you? Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? No, don't start flying, dude. No, 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 no. Get out of here. What? Don't, don't start flying, dude. Ugh. He was becoming like half bird, half seraphic. Yeah, that wasn't pleasant. Okay, uh, where's the bonfire in this area, please? I beg of thee, bonfire. bonfire. Uh, I think it's over there. Yeah, I see it. Right there. No, no, no. I mean, turn around. What? I think I turn back towards the, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, right there. I did not see that one. I saw another bonfire. Yeah. <laughs> Road of Sacrifice. Oh, now it tells me the location. I okay. was like, please don't miss this bonfire. I did not see that bonfire. I, mean, I honestly couldn't see it. Everyone will be so mad at us. I don't frankly care if they're <laughs> mad. This is my playthrough, and I'll do what I want. <laughs> they can be as mad as they like. They can they can bite me. Oh, fuck you! You'll be mad at you, too. I will be. I can bite me as well. <laughs> there, I bit me. Don't, don't do that. What? Shriving bones? Shriving stone? Bone stones? Stone or own? Shriving stone. Undo weapon infusion. Oh, it shears oh. off an infused gem. Interesting. Shriving stone. Okay. Makes sense. Since. Is that a train car? It's a carriage. Oh, okay. Told an unknown traveler. I love that. Okay, well, this place seems pretty okay so far. The enemies die super fast, and they're not, like, doing crazy shit to me yet because they don't get to fly. I yeah. Stop them first. I'm not looking forward to the first encounter where there's two or three of them. Yeah. I think I can kill about two before they make it up. Speaking of which... Well, we shall test that. Oh! Oh, he oh. did a wing pounce. Oh! Oh, God. Jesus! He got mad. Oh, there... Oh, he just... He had a gas cloud situation. A beef? What was that? That one fell to his death. His wings were real helpful. <laughs> oh, you're a shaman kind of thing going on. Oh. Well, you suck in the meta. You're our poison faction of this game. Oh, hi there. Bye. Hey. Uh, he's off on an adventure from something, I think. <laughs> Weird chef's hat. I love that hat. I gotta find that hat. I love I love doofy hats in Souls games, man. I'm drop down. They are the best. Okay. It was the uh, boar helm in Dark Souls. Yeah. Brigand axe. Oh. That sounds... Hello! Oh, no, another jerky man! Oh, no, he's got, like, something even bigger. Yeah, but he's still a jerky man. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's like Maneater Mildred. It is Maneater Mildred. They just don't have a bag over their head. Oh! Jesus! Oh! Okay, Man Eater Mildred. That's Man Eater Mildred. Or like 
It's like Sigmire, where it's like Man, Man Marcher Marcher Martha. Yeah. <laughs> Man Masticating Marge. <laughs> Man, ma man, mouth, and Margaret. You, <laughs> man, mountain, Marco. Oh no, wait, that's a very terrible Marvel villain with an unfortunate name. <laughs> yeah, uh, man, mountain, Marco sounds a little bit like gay porn star. L little gay porn star. Yeah, a little bit. Man, mountain, Marco. Oh yeah, I don't know. What does he do? He mounts men. <laughs> okay, sounds great. There we go. Dead. And that's not where I fall off. <laughs> I could just see it happening before my eyes. I love my shield just clip clippity clipping through me there. Yeah. They really didn't think about that outfit very much. Oh. The shaman is dead. It's like my Hearthstone experience over and over <laughs> again. Oh. Well, maybe that new expansion coming out next week will help. Yeah, hopefully okay. it's good. Man eater Mildred. Mm. Enemy ahead. She's she's gonna be pretty tough. She's quick. You're gonna have to bait out a lot of her hits. Uh oh. She did a power up move. Uh oh. I bet she does extra bleedy damage or something. Oh, she's still alive. Oh, that's what that does. Really? That's a thing you can do now. Oh, wow! Yeah, remember, because I have one of those, and it's like it's special. They was life steal or something. Oh, I got one of those from the Carpenters. Remember that great cleaver? Oh, hey, that's neat. Freaking knockoff man eater Mildred here is pretty damn tough. Yeah, you're definitely definitely gonna have to fish for the backstabs on this one. Male masticating Maureen. <laughs> Just this knockoff version. Oh, that's like third hand. <laughs> or it's like a, a really weird, like, uh, East Asian uh, cheap knockoff. It's just like a uh, male personage chew. And that's it. The male person that she, she's made of orange plastic. <laughs> Guy Goblin Greta. <laughs> now that sounds like a straight porn star. God damn it. Wow. Really? He Fine. was not Take it in the butt. Oh. Now that's what Man Mount Marco would do. <laughs> that's what Man Mount Marco does to you. Makes you do that. I like Guy Goblin Greta. <laughs> That is, that is really satisfying to say. Okay. Let's try can not I, to get Can rammed. I pull a jerky man and make her fall off? You can't keep pushing all your problems off a cliff. Literally or metaphorically. Whoa! Yeah. Try to dodge into her attacks, I think, because she's real spry. As advertised. Oh, damn you. Curse you, Guy Goblin Greta. <laughs> this Guy a, Goblin Gretchen. This is a giant issue. Oh, God. She's got a stamina bar the size of Montana. She doesn't have to stop ever. It's like a, we're fighting a boss in Bloodborne. Oh, 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 oh. oh, playing fast and loose. Get away. <laughs> we're almost there. Yeah. All right. Take that, male mastication, Margaret. Butcher knife. Oh, no, that's a different one. She has the butcher knife. Oh. Okay, well, I don't think they're coming back. I hope. No. Praise the revenge. <laughs> it's a little jump for joy. It's like, yeah. Ooh. 
a set that might be some kind of happy middle ground for me on armor. Let's look into it. That is slightly more weight, but much better protection. Hmm. Less weight, but better protection there. Much better. Good. You got a full set now. And hey, I got my good roll. With my good shield. Okay, so I think we're in good shape here. This has been a productive episode already. Yeah. Friggin' twin daggers. What? What is this about? How does that work? What is this nonsense? Get off here, Scythe. I want to try this. I need more decks. Oh. Dagger paired. Oh, they're actually a paired weapon set. That must be a new weapon set. So there's a weapon set that is both hands. Yeah, it's a two hands now. That's interesting. That's a big change. You used to be huh. a dual wield just to equip two weapons. Now there are weapons that are pre-dual wield, or just, I think they're weapons that you have in both hands, but they have a special move set that goes with them. Mm. They're like unique move set. Yeah, I think they're one slot, but you have to two-hand them. Yeah, probably. Well, nobody's getting any work done here. Die, die, die. Ow, not me, you. Yeah, well, let me clarify. <laughs> Ooh, Titanite, yes. I love that Titanite. Titanite. Now we just have to decide on a weapon we want to upgrade. Okay, I don't even need to deal with you guys, because you're the guys from before. I just ignore them. Probably the Astora Straight Sword's going to get more upgrades. It has been my truest and dearest friend so far. Try luring it out. Oh. Oh, I see what they want me to do. Crab walking reapers, they grow wings. Yeah, there's a whole little camp of them here. I need to lure them in for me one at a time. Wow! They got some reach on them. They got some dead, too. They don't have much... Uh, Resistance to being stun locked. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. that's shrill. Ouch. Ah. Thanks, Skid Row. Try <laughs> down. Uh. Oh. Oh. He's oh. Duo ahead. Oh shit. Oh, they killed themselves. <laughs> Excellent. Fell to their deaths. Good shit. Be wary of duo. I'm the one with the scythe. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, there's two of these. Yep. Oh, 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 shit. Get off me. Get off me. Get the fuck off me. All right, you need to get some way to heal. Yeah. All right. I just had to get them down because, wow, you can't even block them. They just maul you. Jeez. As a dog would. They have block immunity. I've never seen that before. No. Morn's Ring. Oh, what is this? Oh, it prevents me from ever talking on Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Loose Miracles. Hey, I'll take it. Nice. Good find. Now form ringed into the Knights of Karim. Morn served the goddess Kaitha and later became an apostle of the Archbishop. They labored together to provide comfort to the suffering. Okay. Well, seems handy. Yeah, it, it looks real holy and comforting, oh. doesn't it? Real Divine Tome of Karim. What? what? For a blind person? What is that item? Um, you got me. Is it a key item? Maybe. Yeah. Learn High Miracles of Karim. Cool. Oh. Oh, those are the ashes. Mortician's ashes. So Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. I need to give those to her. Okay. Cool. Oh, maybe we get access to new shop items once we, like, give some yeah. of that stuff over. Whiter's tradition price and great faith in the words of the blind and braille tomes are not unusual. Huh. Give to a storyteller to learn advanced Kareem miracles. Interesting. All right. Miracles from Kareem. Okay, well, we are definitely finding some cool shit down here. I'm glad I went down. Thank you, sign. <laughs> I never would have noticed that area. That neatly got me past that tricky-looking spot, too. Oh. It did actually get me past the tricky spot. It's just these guys are up here now. Yeah. Whoa! He got some air on that one. No more air for him. Now let's kill that shaman. Wanted to be like Mike. No! 
The elements will destroy you. <laughs> uh, he's done. Okay, Ember. Ember's good. I like Embers. They let me uh, summon dudes for bosses, which I'm probably due for soon. Oh, God, I'm probably due for a boss soon. Actually, yeah, it's been a while. His last one was the curse rotted. Oh, bloodstain required ahead. What does that mean? I don't know, but there's a bonfire here, so it can't attack don't me. Don't let yet. it be a bonfire mimic. <laughs> a bonfire mimic. The most hateful thing imaginable. Bonfire lit. Oh, we got some dudes over yeah, here. Yeah, let's have a chat. Two nice looking knights. Black and white. Blue sentinel. Whoa. Okay. He needs a lozenge. Oh, hello. How do you do? Huh. I am Amory of Astora. Oh. I'm a dog like you. Oh. This is Horace. <laughs> a friend and traveler. He's a little Horace right now. <laughs> and you too in search of the Lords of Cinder. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the undead. That's one of the groups we need. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the Cathedral, home of the Grim Aldrich. That's another one we need. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Okay. Yep. As talkative as ever. Or it's good people. I like him. Okay. Blue Sentinel's Covenant. Remember the way of blue is threatened by a dark spirit. The blue sentinels in compliance with an ancient accord assume the form of blue spirits and help to root out the invader. Something takes place automatically while this is equipped. That's really nice. I am not going to use that because I'm more focused on the uh, like the main game here. But I will absolutely join them in another playthrough. Yeah. It seems that we've got the recipient version of it equipped already. Yeah. Which we is receive good. blue sentinels if we get invaded. Mm. Yeah. I think it's safe to say you can't be invaded unless you're undead, too. Or unless you're, like, not undead anymore, if you're, like, in your, like, kindled form. Probably. Because we have not been invaded, like, ever. And we've barely ever been. In that it kind of hinted that it doesn't do that for a while. Who are you? Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? Are you storyteller? Please? I am Cirrus of the Sunless Realm. Oh, I think you can give me miracles. I'm a servant of the divinity. Tell me a story! <laughs> Tell me a story! Bear, <laughs> but one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Oh no, don't be that way. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Mm. I'm gonna talk to you again. I doubt we've much to gain ah. from blessing of the moon. Ah. Nothing for me right now. Okay, that's fine. Then. What about that other person? What other person? That person right there? That's the fire maiden. Oh, it's hard to see. Yeah. All the fire is, like, blurring my vision. Okay, let's, uh... Let's what? see where our... Where, Wasn't there what, something what? we could give her? Yeah, we can give her something. Ah, the ash. Well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? Give Umbral Ash. Gracious. Ash. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. Let this ash cover Kratos and make him emo. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Let's see what you have to sell now. Let's see it. Purchase. Uh, well, she sells small groups of embers now and oh. a few purple moss clumps. Those are limited supply. Grave key. Key to a door in the undead settlement sewer. Oh, I remember now. we got to buy that 20,000 soul key at yeah, some point. Yeah, that's the dilapidated tower behind the shrine. Yeah. That's the tower key. Yeah, I know about that thing. Uh, what else you got? Homeward bones are nice. I got the white sign soapstone. No new armor. No new shields. I kind of like my shield that I have. No new weapons. That sorcerer's staff won't help me much. What can I sell? No new shields, unfortunately. Yeah. I think you can sell the soul items for what they're worth. That's neat. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta bank souls. You know they got different currencies. <laughs> you don't want, you don't want to mess up like your yeah. French souls with your English souls. Oh heavens no! Well, I'll never use the great machete. I'm too small for that. That's way too much strength. Probably, yeah. 
The butcher knife is, again, way too much strength for me. I don't want that lucerne. I don't want a club. Regent Axe might be available to me. I don't want the Cestus. No, definitely don't want the Cestus. You, uh, you aren't a glutton for punishment. No. Okay, so... One. Be sure to bring more souls. And brush your teeth. <laughs> and drink your Ovaltine. <laughs> oh, man, that makes me want some chocolate milk, but I can't have any till after I record or I'll get flimmy. I'll be flimmy Koopa. Okay, <laughs> so let's see now. My options are to try to buy that key next or to press onward. I think I'm going to go for that key. Yeah, okay. You think we got the souls for it? No, I think I'm going to have to farm some. <sighs> okay, so I need another 12,000 to buy that thing. All right, then. So let's go to the undead settlement because we have some keys for some locked doors there now. Yeah. And that place is pretty much well within the realm of what I can handle. I wanted to level up for those twin daggers. I bet they'd be really good for my kind of play style, but right now I need to save up souls. Okay, so we got to play in careful, like, soul conservation mode now. Yeah. Oh, shit, the dogs are on this side. Who put them on this side? Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs in? Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Well, have fun, guys. <laughs> I don't care about your problems. <laughs> Selfish undead. You will close the gate. Let the dogs totally eat their elbows. <laughs> Woo! He was yodeling as he died. You killed Bruce Lee? <laughs> <laughs> he did make the Bruce Lee sound, didn't he? He's like, oh. Wow. He just started warbling on me. That was interesting. Oh, yeah, this place. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I think I know what the key opens. Oh, yeah. That's right. Let's go down here, spawn the thrall, kick his ass there. Their hats are so weird. I miss it. I liked that hat. I know you did. But I need to do other things. Like succeed. That hat wasn't terrible, actually. It was good for what you had, which was not much. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't there another, like, staircase down? Oh, no, that's a little further in. That's over in that building, yeah. Yeah. It's not that way, no. Also, I'm, I'm glad that in every uh, installment since Demon Souls... Like, everyone after that, there's no such thing as item weight. I can both defend item weight and understand why you wouldn't want it. It's just like... Imagine, folks, if you've never played Demon's Souls, if all of the items in your inventory, as well as your equipment, worked toward your weight limit. Yeah, it can be harsh. I feel like it contributed things in its own way, but I understand why a lot of people didn't like it, and I can, like, either way on it, I can defend its inclusion or its omission. It's one of those things that, like... Oh, for all acts. Oh, hey. Cool. There's more to them than I thought. They dropped a few things. It's, it's one of those things that you, like, you could defend for the sake of difficulty, or strategy, I suppose, in yeah, some weird strategy, way. basically. But, uh... It's, yeah, it's not like world tendency, where it was just, like... That was just a bad system. Fuck world tendency around. forever. No one liked it. All right. How much are they worth? Oh, not bad, like fifty. -ish. We're still not getting a whole lot of souls out of people. No, but I bet this is the door. Ah, god damn it! Does not open from this side. Oh shit! That wasn't it then. Hmm. No, no ambush this time. Sorry, <laughs> I took care of that. You gotta get up a little earlier in the morning to put one over on this particular gentleman. On this brilliant looking fellow. <laughs> I am a genius. I have miracles, so I mean, hey. He, he looks like one of those wild kids from Hook. <laughs> what? Yeah, he, like, he kind of looks like one of them. 
Like he's just he got a weird face that in a in a outfit that looks a little too big for him. Okay. Maybe it's just me. No, that's fair, I suppose. Okay, this was the respite room. Yes. <laughs> that makes such a gross sound. What in here? Ooh. Oh yeah, you. Wow, he fell ready to swing that axe. Gotcha. Ooh. Also, flask plus one does a lot. Yeah, flask plus one is quite legit. I, I definitely dig it. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh dear. Please walk this way. I'll show you around the chateau. Oh man, I can't go up there. We really have an unassailable position, wow. <laughs> oh shit! Wow. Oh, they made it to me. They were a bit closer than we thought. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'll just lose them down here. Okay, that's my oh yeah, there's the bonfire over here. We're halfway to our soul goal. Good. I'd say we're on a roll. <laughs> uh, Dark Goals 3. Hashtag life goals. How much are these dudes worth, I wonder? That is That's a good question. question. I want to have an answer to. Oh. Damn, I didn't continue my combo fast enough. You were too far away. Ooh, ooh. Nice thing is I'm right by a bonfire, so I can get my stuff back. Yeah. Okay. 320, that's not bad. That's pretty respectable for the level we're at. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna move forward in here. We're gonna let our archer buddy take out some dudes for us, I think. Man, there's just so many. I get souls for them, so... Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Chief. Sorry, Chief, or if any of you have that doofy hat, Chef. <laughs> sorry, Chef. Wow! Away with you! Be gone, foul beast. I understand why it's forceful. I don't understand why it creates an explosion. Why it's explosively forceful? Yeah. That giant. Man, he's got some draw strength. I'm telling you now. <laughs> Don't let him on the range. Yes, thrall comes down after me. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Wow. Can I have that? That great sword? I don't actually want it, frankly, but... I'd rather I have it than you do, buddy. That's, Damn! That's true. Oh! Wow, you got that immunity time. Yeah, wow. That was uncalled for. That was a little bit excessive, yeah. No, no such luck. I'd sell it if I could get it off him. It'd be worth something, probably four or five hundred souls. What's it gonna take for me to get you into this great sword? That's just not my bag, man. It's true. Everybody has their own play style that they find comfortable in a Souls game. It's really one of the great strengths of the series, in my opinion. What? People just have playstyles that they find comfortable, and like there's such a variety of them that people can use. That's really what's great about Dark Souls in the large point, is that it doesn't matter what size or age or gender you are, it treats everybody the same. Like shit. <laughs> yes. You are insignificant and facing a mountain of problems, so really, it's no less plausible that you would take them down than anyone else. Fair enough. I suppose that's true. And on that note, I believe we are out of time for this episode, so we will see you all next time for some more Dark Souls 3. Bye-bye for now, everybody. Goodbye.